Let's go to the lifeline of the show, which are the telephone callers. Good evening, Mohammed uh, from the Republic of Ghana. You are most welcome to Straight Talk Africa. Good evening, uh, Shaka. I am terrific. How are you today? I'm fine, sir. What I'm is your fine, question? Sir. What is your question? Uh, Shaka, uh, first of all, I want to say I really like your shirt today. <laughs> <laughs> And it's, uh, uh, it's a true reflection of the... Does it, uh, does it make me express uh, some sense of African nationalism or is it Ghanaian nationalism? <laughs> well, it's African nationalism, yeah. indeed. Thank you very much, thank yeah. you very much. Yes, yeah, but... Zaka, I have a very short submission. You know, it's rather unfortunate that, you know, even after independence... Uh, we are we are we are we are not independent in court. You know, it's, it's very unfortunate. We have leaders who are in cohort with uh, 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 foreign powers and just destroying the continent. You know, I'm sure the our leaders who fought for us will be turning around in in their graves. And I think we should bow down our head in shame. You know, it's rather unfortunate. We spend billions of dollars celebrating independence when we have achieved absolutely nothing. It's very unfortunate, and I think we, we, we have to sit up. We have to sit up and, and, and face the reality. Thank you, Jack. Thank you very much. Uh, is it really true that uh, we have achieved nothing? I, I, is it I, really I true that we are not independent? <laughs> because, you know, there is a saying, for example, that uh, democracy, at least according to Abraham Lincoln, is supposed to be a government of the people by the people, oh, for, for the people. The people. Right. Mm. But do you have problems with someone telling you that uh, if we walk across the African continent, the sort of democracy that most of those countries have, with the exception of a few countries, including yours, Botswana, is really something that could be characterized as a government of some people, mm -hmm. by some people, for some people? Mm -hmm. Not for Botswana, at least. Certainly not Botswana, but most of the African continent, if you talk about independence, it is for some people. Yes, well. Not for most of the people. I, I, I think for Botswana, if I, I, I just go back, we retained the modern government in parallel and in harmony to the traditional government. Mm -hmm. And our traditional government is based on the Kotla system, which is like an open court, where there's plenty of defendant. Anybody and everybody can participate and comment whether the case is for the plaintiff or for the defendant. And the chief presides. And the freedoms of speech, of the tolerance, it's practiced there. Because when you stand up in the Kotla, no one can shut you down. No one can say to you, you are a lesser person or you are not educated or your social standing. And you would have protection of not just the chief, but of everybody. When we now got independence, we used that very same structure and we use it today for consultation. So government ministers, the president, any of the senior people, if there's a policy, a change, a thinking of introducing something new, Kotla meetings are called. And at the Kotla meeting, anyone can stand up and say, Mr. President, I disagree with that position. And these are the reasons why I disagree. So consultation in Botswana, it's quite high. What I tend to see in other African countries is when people are called for consultation, they don't come and then decisions are taken outside them. Why do you think they don't come? I think maybe it's not part of their culture for consultation or they just exclude themselves. Because in Botswana, even now, we have even encouraged the youth to participate in the Kotla meetings, mm -hmm. that when such meetings are called, they should come. My late mother, used to call the Kota a library. Mm -hmm. That's where in the villages they learned about what is happening. Even if you didn't have a radio, if you went to the Kota meeting, you will understand what policies they are. Does that help, therefore, to explain, for example, why your incumbent president, who likes to be called Seretse uh, Kama Iyanikama, yes. 
likes to go to the villages over the weekend? He does. It is also to see whether his government policies, the things that have been taken out there to assist the people, whether it is trickling down to the people who are, who are meant to be the beneficiaries, but also to take what complaints people may have firsthand and to encourage in terms of delivery, which is one of his D's, democracy, delivery, you know, uh, and independence and everything, to see whether these things are trickling down to the people. It has also given a lot of courage to the people to know that if I go to a particular office and I don't get helped, eventually there might be a backup, which I would get. And it has also put all of us to try to do our level best to deliver what we are meant to deliver. So is that really uh, the secret behind your success? The or is there something more? Because you are one of the few countries on the continent yes. that have been able to use your natural resources, like the almighty diamonds, for the benefit of the majority of your people. At independence, you know, in 1966, Botswana was the third poorest country in the world. Right. And today, we have the highest GDP uh, per capita. We are the least corrupt, rated by uh, rated A by both Moody's and Standard and Poor's for investment. So some of those things that we have achieved have come about because everybody is part of the system. Like, Even Mauri the like Mauritius, like yes. Mauritius in your country. Education is a right, not a privilege. That is correct. Those diamond you? revenues have been used to educate our people from primary to university. to university. We also provide free health care. If anything, we are now suffering from too much dependence you on government. You are independent. So we are independent. Your In people Botswana, are independent. Are. In Botswana, we are. Let's go.